Well, let's take a look at what's happening with social media. We have our resident social media diva with us, Nikisha Price. How are you, Nikisha? I'm Greg Rockman. How are you today? Doing well. Let's talk about what's trending. Well, there are a lot, a lot of things going on on social media today, but most importantly, a lot of people have been talking about FAMU's ban suspension has been lifted. And I got a few tweets that have been trending today. Um, we have at T21 Ennis, and he says, We are back in business, hashtag FAMU ban, hashtag marching 100. Then we have at Kathleen McCree. McCready, she has something different to say. She says it's an unfair to suspend groups besides the Marching 100. We should build leadership and demand buy-in. Good behavior should be the tradition. Hashtag FAMU band. So the band is back, but we still don't know, as we heard in the story earlier, when they're actually going to hit the field. Yeah, we actually don't know yet, but everybody are, in, are actually anticipating them coming back. So we'll wait on it and see what that. happens. Fingers are crossed. I'm seeing some of the tweets as well. Fingers are crossed for football season. Of course. Yep. They're excited for the halftime show. So. Yeah. And let's take a look over Steubenville, Ohio. There was an exceptional uh, case that went on where uh, some football players were accused of raping a young lady, and yeah. it has been sensational in the news. There's still not a resolution to the case now. What are you seeing on that case? Well, actually, there was a, a guy who actually released the video of the actual rape, and he wanted the, the football players to send out a public apology to the victim. And they're saying now that he can actually face jail time because he released that video. The leaker. Yes, the leaker. Of course. Wow. Yeah, some, they, they're looking into the case now. And we actually have somebody who said um, on Twitter, at us real fest, um, they said, so why does the kid who uncovered the Steubenville rape now have to worry about doing 10 years for it? America isn't free, is it? So that's a little controversy going on, but we'll just see what happens with the case once they, it all unfolds. And so. there is no uh, end in sight, really, as when that case is going to uh, dissolve or when they're going to actually decide whether they're going to convict those guys or not. Yeah, not as yet, but the guy who actually released the tape, he told his testimony on how they actually, the feds came to his house, and, you know, they're saying that he released the tape, and that's public evidence. So. Thanks so much for joining yeah. us, our resident social media diva, Nikisha Price. And you can always get in on the behind-the-scenes conversation at BounceNews.tv. I'm Rockman Johnson, and that's the last word. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.